the Indian power sector is undergoing a significant change that is redefining the industry outlook. Due to rapid economic growth, India has one of the world's fastest growing energy markets and is expected to be the largest contributor to the increase in global energy demand by the year 2035, beating even China, according to the 2014 Energy Outlook report by British oil giant BP. Given India's growing energy demands and limited domestic fossil fuel reserves, the country has ambitious plans to expand its renewable power industries. India plans to add about 20 gigawatt of solar power capacity by the year 2022. India, as a growing economy with a surging middle class, continues to drive power demand. was one of the first countries in the world to set up a Ministry of Non-Conventional Energy Resources, in early 1980s. India's cumulative grid interactive or grid-tied renewable energy capacity, excluding large hydro, has reached 29.9 gigawatt. India is facing a perfect storm of factors that will drive solar photovoltaic PV, adoption at a furious pace over the next five years and beyond. The falling prices of solar panels, mostly from China and US, have coincided with the growing production capacities of photovoltaic panels in India thus reducing the overall cost of solar energy production. Government support and ample solar resources have also helped to increase solar adoption, although perhaps the biggest factor has been the growing consumer need. Government-funded solar energy in India only accounted for approximately 6.4 megawatt era power as of 2005. The amount of solar energy produced in India in 2007 was less than 1% of the total energy demand. 25.1 megawatt was added in 2010 and 468.3 megawatt in 2011. India is ranked number one in terms of solar energy production per watt installed, with an insulation of 1,700 to 1,900 kilowatt hours. By January 2014 the total installed grid-connected solar power had increased to 2,208.36 megawatt and India's Ministry of New and Renewable Energy aims to install 10 gigawatt of solar power under the central and various state-specific schemes by the year 2017, and a total of 20 gigawatt by the year 2022. Some large solar power projects have been proposed, and about 8,600,000 acres area of the Tar Desert has been set aside, sufficient to generate 700 gigawatt to 2,100 gigawatt. Gujarat has been a leader in solar power generation and contributes two-third of the 900 megawatt of photovoltaics in the country. The state has commissioned Asia's biggest solar park at Sharanka Village. The park is already generating 214 megawatt solar power out of its total planned capacity of 500 megawatt. The park has been functioning on a multi-developers and multi-beneficiaries paradigm and has won awards for being the most innovative and environment-friendly project by the CII. <music> Land acquisition is a challenge to solar farm projects in India. Some state governments are exploring means to address land availability through innovation. For example, by exploring means to deploy solar capacity above their extensive irrigation canal projects, thereby harvesting solar energy while reducing the loss of irrigation water by solar evaporation. 
the state of Gujarat was first to implement the canal solar power project, to use 19,000 km long network of irrigation canals across the state for setting up solar panels to generate electricity. It was the first ever such project in India. This also helps by stopping 90,000 litre water yearly of the Narmada River from evaporating. In the past three years, solar generation costs here have dropped from around 30 cents a kilowatt hour to about 12 cents. Experts believe that mega solar power plants like the upcoming one in Rajasthan would be able to produce power for around 8.4 cents a kilowatt hour. India can make renewable resources such as solar the backbone of its economy by the year 2050, reining in its long-term carbon emissions without compromising its economic growth potential. With about 300 clear, sunny days in a year, India's theoretical solar power reception, on only its land area, is about 600,000 gigawatt. India's long-term solar potential could be unparalleled in the world because it has the ideal combination of both high solar insulation and a big potential consumer-based density.